Hello, this is Rick and thanks for joining. Today's topic is going to be an introduction to formatting and this is the fifth Excel 2013 tutorial. And I wanted to point out that all of these tutorials will be posted for free on the website and on YouTube. My website is www.10minutetrain.com and what I've done here is I've just reused the spreadsheet that we created in the tutorial number four with the filtering in, in the table and what I want to point out here is um, we're going to go in and do some basic formatting and show you how to uh, format um, fonts and things like that so the first thing you notice is all of the all of the font here and is is exactly the same so what you may want to do is you may want to go ahead and highlight the title row and you might want to make that bold there's multiple ways to do this by the way you can go here to the home tab and go up here and you can use these functions if you hover over them they should tell you what they do there's borders there's font color there's the actual font style um, there's the font size so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you quickly um, one other way to do that and that is um, once you've got the cells highlighted right click and choose format cells and that will bring you up to multiple options so for example if this were numbers you were formatting you could go to the numbers tab if you want to work with the alignment you could do it here um, you could wrap text here um, font border um, fill and so forth so under font for example I could click bold and I could make those bold you can see that now they're all bold but let's say I wanted to now make them also like uh, italic I could just click the italic button here and it would do that same thing for underline I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck those and now um, if I wanted to change the font color I could go here to this tab this button and I could choose let's make them red just for right now and then if I wanted to I could go ahead and make the title row I could make the background fill a little bit different of a color so I could make it gray to make it stand out a little bit okay or any color so I'm just wanted to demo these things so now um, one of the things that you may want to do is to make this a little more um, a little uh, nicer is you can go in over here and you could and you could uh, highlight the months here and you could go over here and do text alignment or orientation and if you click the little pull down you'll see you have options of what to do so we can make it counterclockwise as an example and do it like that okay so the other thing is if you go in here again and I right click and I choose format cells and I go to alignment I can go over here and I can customize that and I can choose exactly how I want it how many degrees um, so we'll go ahead and do it a different with a different setting and you can see oh I just did the one actually so I'm just going to change that back but that's all that's what I want to share with you is you can get very granular um, with those tools so um, a few other things that I want to share with you are number formatting so over here you'll notice that we have um, the dollar symbol in front of these cells so I've highlighted all these cells I've, I'm going to right click I'm going to say format cells and then I'm going to go to number and then I'm going to go down here it's on currency I've got two places so if I want to I can go to zero places to get rid of any any um, you know this is dollars and cents so let me get rid of any any um, anything other than a whole number so another thing is now I've got the cell here and let's assume that I want to make put this in the center of the cell I can do that a number of different ways I can I can go up here and I can choose up here I can center my content um, I can put it on the right side of the cell I would put it on the left side of the cell but I'm going to go back to center or again I can go into format cells here and I can go to alignment and I can choose center which is already chosen but you see all the different options there alright so I'm going to click cancel and now 
Uh, I want to share with you um, one other thing or a couple other things here is sometimes if you're filling in repetitive data or sequential data you may want to let the spreadsheet do a lot of the work and auto fill the data for you so for example over here I've got January February and March so I don't need to type April May June all I have to do is click um, highlight those first three cells go down here without the mouse button depressed anymore wait till you go to the bottom right get that cross click and hold your mouse and just drag it out all the way to December and there you go we'll auto fill in for you the same thing will happen now let me go over here to another sheet real quick the same thing will happen if I go here and I go you know one two and I'll go here, highlight those, then I'll take the mouse and just drag it down. You can see what will happen. It will do that. The same thing will happen as long as it's sequential. If I go 246, you'll see it will increment by twos. So one other thing that I've done here is I've created some numbers here um, to show you how to format numbers. So if you notice over here, I've got multiple decimal places on some of these. So let's assume this was currency of, of um, US dollars. So I would right click that, I would choose format cells, I'd go over here under the number category, I'd go to currency, and I would change it to two decimal places typically, or, 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 or zero. Two would typically make the most sense, it depends on what kind of currency you're working with obviously. Um, and then I could also go over here and I could get rid of the dollar symbol um, and you'll also notice over here if you're dealing with different um, different types of currencies there's the different symbols there alright so I'm going to go ahead and say OK and there you see it formatted it into um, the currency with the dollar symbol but I'm going to go ahead and show you I'm going to do make change that to none I'm going to say OK and there you have the dollar values without the uh, symbol alright I'm going to jump back over here to the table again and a couple other things we may want to do is we may want to go over here I'm going to insert a row right here I'm going to insert another row and I'll do I'm going to do one more here for so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a title for the spreadsheet so I'm going to call this sales data 2013 and rather than have it look like that, what I can do here is I can highlight these cells like this. I can highlight multiple cells. And I can go ahead and click the Merge and Center button. And that will combine all those cells together. And then I can go on over here. I can make it bold. Okay, so another thing we may want to do is down here we might want to do a... I'm going to go to Formulas and we're going to calculate the total sales. So I'm going to go to Auto Sum. I'm going to hit return and that's going to put the total value in there which is 7.378 million and then what we're going to do is over here we might want to put a border under this so I'm going to go back to the home tab and I am going to click on this button here which is border and again you can get to that by right clicking and I'm going to go ahead and do uh, let's do a bottom border and there you see I've got a border here and now you can also you can go into the formatting options and you can change the style of that border so for example I'd go into format cells I'd go to border I could click that border and remove it I could go to this um, border which is a little thinner click it and say OK um, likewise I could go in there if I wanted to put a border around the whole cell or something like that those you can just um, click and experiment um, with those options so I've got the total the total sales value. So now I might want to go up here and I might want to say percentage of total sales. Okay, so now, now I've got um, now I've got um, a column for percentage of total sales, and so I'm gonna say equals and I'm gonna give each user, I'm gonna select their total sales, which in this case Lorraine's total sales are in column they're in cell P5, and I'm gonna divide that by the total sales volume and one of the things I want to do here is I'm going to highlight that P28 which is the total sales volume and hit F4 and what those dollar signs do what that function does is is maintains if I copy that formula it's always going to maintain the reference to this cell so I'm going to hit return 
and I'm going to go ahead and copy this formula down and you can see that's everyone's percentages of total sales and you see what the reason why I made that that P28 a constant reference is you can see as you copy the formula down this changes from P5 to P6 to P7 and so forth but they still reference the P28 value if I didn't have those dollar symbols there it would it would reference further down and it would be an invalid formula so what I want to do here is I want to highlight all these cells and I'm going to right click and I'm going to change um, do format cells go to number choose percentage and then I'm going to do two decimal places you can do whatever whatever number you want I'll do one decimal place actually and then I'm going to go ahead and say OK and there you have um, everyone's total percentage everyone's percentage of the total sales volume okay so one of the things that you'll notice here is that the percentage of total sales doesn't fit in this box here so I might want might want to clean this up so it's a little cleaner so what I'm going to do I'm going to go in here I'm going to format that cell I'm going to go to alignment and I'm going to change the text orientation back to normal zero degrees and then you see it doesn't fit in the box so what I want to do here is I can do this, I can either right click and go into alignment or I can click here on wrap text, but what I want to do is wrap text within the cell. So I'm going to choose wrap text on the alignment tab. And then you can see if I continue to do that, it will it will continue to shrink. And of course I'd have to um, I'd have to expand the uh, the depth of the cell there. So I'm going to go back over here, expand that a little bit and there you've got it that fits nice and neat within the box there alright and then I could take these and center them and so forth and the only other thing I want to share with you is some of these things if you need to move around the tabs you can hit the there's a shortcut if you don't like using the mouse as much you can hit alt as an example and then it'll give you the options here so I could hit alt and then if I want to I could choose H for home Okay, and then if I wanted to uh, make that um, B or bold, I would hit the number one, and you see what happened there. It did that for me. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit undo here. But that's what I want to share with you. If you don't like using the mouse as much, you can get used to using the keys here. And to get in and out of that mode, just hit the Alt key. We'll take it off also. And that's what I wanted to share with you today. Thanks. Take care.